Hi guys! Actually, no. I'm not starting my videos with hi guys. I'm back. <laughs> it's been a while. I mean, I've just been having like an existential crisis. Does existential mean what I think it means? Yeah. No, I know it. I'm a smart cookie. I know it means what I think it means. You smart. You loyal. You're grateful. I appreciate that. There are a lot since my last video. Turn 24. Had three weaves since my last video. Broke my foot. Been on holiday. Got married. Had a baby. Got three kids now. A house, a mortgage, a husband. Right, I've lied about half of that. But it's been a long time. This is quickly becoming a game of like free truths, 88 lies. And I'm going out tonight. For Halloween so I'm gonna film me doing this makeup look I'm being a playboy bunny I'm not being a sexy playboy bunny because I've never been sexy a day in my life that's not me the inspiration for this look from someone on Instagram called JD Oladio the first thing I'm gonna do is conceal my brow I've never done this before don't know what I'm doing don't try this out yeah we'll see how it goes talk to you is about how much of a mess my life is and to be fair I'm going to my friend's house and then we're potentially going out afterwards because I don't know what I'm gonna wear on my feet reason being I went out last weekend through a misguided decision to go out before I even got to the night out I fell over as you can imagine I've been to pre-drinks okay I've had one two maybe three drinks already but I was nowhere near drunk I was wearing Reebok classics. So I wasn't looking where I was going. There was a pothole in the road. I fell over. The way that I fell over, I thought, ooh, this doesn't just feel like a normal falling over. When you fall over, you get back up and you go, ow, that hurt where I landed a bit. But it doesn't usually hurt everywhere where your ankle bent. You know when your ankle does that chuk, that chuk, that chuk, that chuk, when it goes, have you ever seen that video of the girl in the chicken shop waiting for whatever food she's getting? Just stood there and Uncle goes. Oh, and she falls on the floor. That's what I did. And when I got back up, I was like, ow! So I'll just walk on it a bit. So then we carried on walking from where we were in town to village. And then by the time I got there, I must have either got drunk enough to forget the pain. Or I was just like, mm, it's just a normal pain of when your ankle twists a little bit, it's fine. But I probably shouldn't have ignored it. Some people think that my life is a joke. And I'm just here to let you know that those people are right. Look at my ankle. Oh, my God. No, look at the other one. People don't get this, but I have really, really, really skinny ankles. Look how skinny that ankle is, right? Skinny. Skinny. Ooh! Skinny bitch for life. Oh, don't look at my toes. Skinny ankle, right? Yeah, my legs dry, whatever. Look at this one. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> To make matters worse, that night I got home maybe about three, half three. And I have this big old wardrobe in my room. The door of this wardrobe fell off. I've leaned the wardrobe door up against this wall over here in my room. And I had a vision before I went out of thinking, mm, that's probably not the best place to leave the door because the space in between the wall and my bed isn't that large. So the door could, you know, like topple on top of me. I might get trapped, but I ignored that vision. Now, when I get home at 3.30 a.m., what does happen? I have a clothes rail underneath my bed broken up into like the pieces of pole. So one of the pieces of pole had somehow managed to worm its way from out underneath the bed. I didn't see it stand on this pole bit. My foot goes skidding 
I go flying and then as I go flying I bump into the wardrobe door. The wardrobe door falls on top of me, trapped. Because the wardrobe door is heavy. It's a heavy, old fashioned, antique, wooden, oak door with a mirror attached to the front of it. And I don't mean a B&M plastic hall of mirrors, Blackpool Illuminations mirror. I mean the mirror is thick, thick. It's T-H-I double C, it is thick. I live on the bottom floor and my mum lives two floors up. I'm thinking, I'm just gonna have to scream. I go, mum! No answer. I go, mum! And no answer. I'm like, mum, mum! She runs in my room and she goes, what are you screaming for? Hun, look at me. <laughs> I'm trapped, I'm panicking, I don't know what to do, help me. She was like, why are you screaming now? <laughs> My life is a joke. I'm gonna go in with Love Letter by ABH, cause it's a cute pink. And I'm going in with 21 from the Soph Revolution Extra Spice Palette. I'll zoom you in. So I'm just going to use Reputation out of this palette to darken up my crease. And then I'm going to take the pink brush that we used before and go back over that. Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in C1 to cut the crease. I'm going to use the NYX Glitter Glue. I have this little trio of glitters from NYX. And there's a pink one in the bottom, I'm going to use that. You are the only thing get by oh get by don't go yeah yeah, yeah don't. oh i need to stop singing because it sounds so much like the song i will blatantly get done for copyright <laughs> now we get onto the part which is the reason i needed to conceal my brow which I haven't done a very good job of it, but... <laughs> oh well. So I've done the outline and now I'm just going to do my normal face of makeup trying to dodge the outline of that as much as possible. I'm just patting that on all around. Yeah, so the peel didn't work. It's very pink, as you can see. I need a red. So I'm gonna take the red out of this flash palette. I'm just going to still use the same red but I'm going to dip into the brown that I've got here and I'm going to do some shading with it. I 
and then I've got some fake blood. <laughs> This is the finished look. All I've done is done my hair. I've not done anything else to my face. I think I'm going to put more blood on here because as it's dried, like the jelly effect has like dried in with it. So I think before I leave, I'm going to put more blood on here. I've got me bunny ears. But yeah, this is the finished look. I hope he is like it.